Are you interested in making your own hot liquor tank out of a cooler like this one? Well, if you are, keep watching. I'll show you how I did mine. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I am going to show you how I built my hot liquor tank cooler as you see here. Now uh, I may have said before in a previous video that I am expanding my brew house from 5 gallon capacity to 10 gallon capacity. So this is yet another component of that. So far I have done a video on uh, how to do a mash tun and this is I think the second one I'm doing here on how to make a bigger hot liquor tank. So uh, if you want to see how I did mine keep watching. As you can see, uh, not a whole lot's required to make this, folks. You have your cooler, of course. In addition to your cooler, you have some hardware here, just, just a small amount of hardware. Uh, what I have here is a half-inch brass ball valve, a half-inch brass nipple, and this is the close nipple, which is the shortest that you can get. You're, you might need a longer one, depending upon the wall thickness of your cooler. Uh, a 3 16 ID rubber O-ring, a 7 8 ID steel washer, and a half-inch brass or stainless steel lock nut. So let's move the existing plastic spot out of here. I've already unscrewed the back nut off this thing so this should just come right on out. See just like that real easy. Now there's a hole there. Nice round hole. Perfect. All right so I'm gonna go ahead and screw in the nipple into the ball valve which is uh, this way. And I'm just gonna hand tighten it for now. Like that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this washer over the front there, like that. I'm going to insert it through the hole that's there, like that. Then I'm going to put the O-ring over the top. Put on the brass lock nut. And now I'm going to tighten the nut. I'm going to hold the ball valve in front while I turn it. Actually, what I'm doing is turning the, the ball valve in front, actually, counter to the, the direction of this. But the goal is to get the O-ring nice and compressed in here. Here's something else I decided to do after filling this thing with water and draining it to, to see how much water was left in here. And there was about an inch or so of depth in here of water just sitting here dormant, which is okay as long as you compensate for it. But if you want and do what I did here, I bought another brass fitting and some half inch uh, tubing here that I snipped off and now it reaches down to the to the very bottom of the of the uh, cooler and it'll get more of the water out and that's all there is to it folks this is one of the simplest upgrades I've done or probably will do in my new upgraded brew house uh, I did a similar one uh, with a cooler uh, for my mash ton upgrade I did a five to uh, gallon capacity or to 10 gallon capacity mash ton cooler in a different video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. This is even simpler than that. So if you can do that project, you can definitely do this one. Or if you can, or if you can do this one, it's not much more work to do the other one. So go check out that video as well. So if you like what you saw here, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, and I'll talk to you all next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out other videos on my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.